Hello and welcome to Reinfuse. Today we are taking a look at Super Huey on the Atari 7800. And, well, I guess this is kind of an early flight simulator, is probably the best way of describing it. So, if we start up, and as you can see, it's, um, it's a nice looking game for the time. But yeah, we're in the traditional flight simulator view. Okay, it's not exactly the highest definition uh, floors or the uh, or, or textured floors, but hey, for the time, this is a it's a pretty amazing game. I've oh, got rockets. Okay, so yeah, it's it's definitely an interesting game. As a this. This came out originally in uh, 1988. So, <laughs> yeah, this was this. I mean, for a home console, this wasn't bad at all. Oh, so that's another bad guy there. Yeah, so the 7800 obviously was the um, was one of the follow-ups to the classic 2600. Coming after the 5200 and uh, skewing the slightly weird decisions that were made with the 5200 with lots of back back compatibility problems and stuff like that. So, this one you can play 2600 games on. And in fact, this is basically my daily driver machine. I use this for playing all of my uh, early 2600 and so 800 games, obviously, as well. But no, I mean, <laughs> it's obviously it's it looks primitive in the graphics front, obviously, but not so much that it's bad for the time. It's it's not bad at all. The explosions, well, they look a bit like something that actually just splattered into your windscreen rather than blowing up. But my speed gauge has just been damaged. That could be annoying. Right, so what am I being shot by? Oh, this guy here, presumably. Come back. And you do have rockets as well, that's what that locked on thing keeps popping up, so... Kind of like Afterburner, in that style. Where you, uh... You do have your super weapon. With limited supplies of. <laughs> Although I keep accidentally killing them with the guns before the rockets can get in there. There are different modes. If we go back, so if you look down the bottom there, we've got arcade mode, reality mode, uh, and flight school. Now, obviously, the simple thing would be to try out the flight school, but instead we're going to go with reality mode. What reality mode does? Oh, I just turned the power on. Apparently, power off, power on. Can't turn, oh, there are power on. What now? Okay, I think. <laughs> I think maybe the flight school was a good idea. Because I've got no idea what to do at this point. It may be that you need a specialised controller for this. Let's have a quick look at the uh, at the flight school. So turn power on. Okay, power's on. Start engine. I didn't get that option. Engage rotor. Engage ro engage rotor. Start engine. Okay, every time I do... <laughs> every time I start the... Uh, I mean, you need rotors, right? I mean, I'm, I don't know that much about 
flying a helicopter, but I'm pretty sure you need the rotors. Uh, I don't, I mean, hmm. Flight school is not really telling me much. Okay, <laughs> I think that's enough. Um, it's a pretty good game, actually. If you've got an Atari 7800, I, uh, I recommend giving it a shot. It's, it's obviously not a, a massively graphically enhanced flight simulator. It's not a, it doesn't have much in the way of physics or anything, but it's a fun game and it's kind of like a slightly more complex chip lifter, really. Or uh, a slightly less complex afterburner. Well, less graphically complex afterburner. Yep. <laughs> Give it a shot. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit like. If you really like the video, please hit subscribe. If you didn't like the video or you've got something else to say, then please leave a comment below. See you next time.